Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. Today I have a Goodwill Bins haul. As you can see, there's stuff in the back of my car. Um, yeah, I haven't gone to the bins in about two weeks and I went yesterday and I got a good amount of stuff, over 100 pounds. So, clothing and shoes, so I'm going to show you all of that today. So, stay tuned. This is what happens when I start to film. They start barking. <laughs> It's almost every time okay guys so I'm just gonna give you a like forewarning that a lot of this stuff is just mixed together like there's shoes with clothes and random bags so I can't do like separate sections but I'm just gonna start and just go and just show you the stuff it's the best way I can do it um, so yeah all right the first item is this really cute skirt by the brand City Chic size 18 so they do like vanity sizing or like their medium since this is a plus size brand their medium is like medium plus size does that make sense so this is super cute it's like a pleated i'm oh, sorry that's kind of in the way it's like a pleated polka dot um midi skirt um and everything that i'm showing you right now is has been photographed and a lot of it has been listed so if anything you want in this haul just message me and i will make sure to get listed for you or i can sell it to you on like instagram okay so next is a new to me brand this is the brand jonji j-a-n-j-i um and it's this really cute like vest so this is like an athletic brand um comps are super mixed like anywhere from like 15 to 50 for a jacket i'm probably gonna play it safe and list this for around 30 this one says run for Kenya, so it might have been a fundraiser line, um, and it has this really beautiful, like, piping on the side. Um, it's in excellent condition, and I did find this in an old bin, so that just goes to show that, like, not everything in old bins are, like, crap. Like, you can find really good stuff. Um, so, yeah, the bins that I go to are actually raising their prices the end of this month so april 30th i believe um right now it's a dollar 89 per pound and it'll be a dollar 99 which i mean 10 cents doesn't seem like a lot but it does add up um and they keep raising it every like six months so eventually it's gonna be over two dollars which really sucks but anyways this is just ann taylor um size 12 i actually got this because you'll see a couple ann taylor items i get ann taylor when i love the style this is so cute to me. It's like just this little tie front wrap style shirt and it's 100% silk. So all of those things kind of just made me want to grab it. Okay, so next is this. There is an item um, in here that already sold, which I'll show you, but when I get to it. This is J. Jill, size medium. Bread and butter. There's a lot of bread and butter in here, and then there's a couple pieces that are really good. So, yeah, I was pretty happy with this haul. This is 100% um, Tussa silk. I don't know what Tussa means, but it is 100% silk, size medium. It's this really cute sleeveless, like, cardigan open front. It's pretty basic, um, but I love selling J. Jill, as you guys know. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you'll know. Um, here's another pair of J. Jill. Here's... Um, I have a couple pants, which you'll see. These are J. Jill Wherever Collection, and they're the full leg stretch in a size medium petite. They're just a black, like, pull-on pant, straight leg. I'm only expecting, you know, like, 20 for these, but it adds up, and um, I love J. Jill. It always gets a lot of attention on eBay for me. Um, this is another pair of J. Jill. These are pure Jill, medium petite, and they're just a... Um, like crop capri pant but they're super soft they have a like the marking from when they were hung at a goodwill which is unfortunate but i believe that could be like steamed out maybe okay next is this blazer and this is a really good brand to look out for so this is just a nice wool men's suit coat and the brand is let's see canali Canali. Super high-end um, men's suit coat brand. You can usually get anywhere from like 80 to 150 
or up. It really depends. These retail for like over a thousand dollars. So, um, yeah, they're, that's a really good blazer brand. I don't pick up like all blazers just cause some of them sit forever and ever and ever. But if I can find a good brand like that, I'm s super happy to grab it. Okay. These already sold. So these are the item that already sold. These are Eileen Fisher size extra large. And I have such a hard time figuring out if these were black or navy, but I came to the conclusion that they're navy. So um, I did a lot of like comparing to things that are black and they're navy. So yeah, size extra large Eileen Fisher, always great. And yeah, so I'll set these aside. These sold on Poshmark. Okay. This is super cute. This I feel like I've sold this cardigan before. This is a J. Crew size medium. This one is a extra or super fine alpaca and merino wool blend. Little gray cardigan. So cute. It's pretty lightweight and I did not find any holes or anything, which is super good. Um, all right. These are a pair of Lucky Brand size four. These are the Charlie Skinny and they have Canadian Canadian denim fabrics. I don't know. But anyways, they're just like a skinny jean with some distressing. And I really like the raw hem. There's, these are just pretty basic, but they're cute. And I think these should do okay. Maybe 25. All right. These I just grabbed because like easy to list and shorts I feel like are selling well right now. And surprisingly, this got these got like three likes in the first like five minutes which isn't super common on Poshmark unless you have something that people really, really want and are actively searching for. So I was surprised about this because I never really get this brand. So this is just Under Armour size medium and they're like little sweat shorts. I mean, they are really cute. So I can see why people like are searching this out, but it just surprised me, I guess. Um, <clears throat> okay. This is a J. Crew size extra large men's um, like a brushed cotton pullover sweatshirt and it is a quarter zip. This is from spring of 2020. It is super nice and it's in excellent condition. It's also really soft. This isn't really my style, but if this was just black, um, I would probably keep it or like gray, maybe something more neutral. I would probably try it on and keep it because I love this type of like material. Um, okay. Next. This is a North Face size of large women's. This is the Denali um, like fleece. Um, and it's like this really cute blue teal color. I feel like this should do pretty well. Um, I did try it on, but my shoulders are too wide for it. Also, there's water on my shirt. My shoulders are too wide for it. <laughs> so um, it didn't fit, but it is super soft and in really good condition. All right, next, I, I'm debating on whether or not I should have grabbed these, but I did, so I have them. They're, these are Carhartt, size 3430, and they are a double knee, um, like, work pant, but they're not vintage, which the vintage ones sell so much better, and these have lots of signs of wear. However, I feel like with Carhartt these days, like, some of the more worn-in pieces tend to sell better, or, like, it's part of the style, so... Yeah, and they also have like some ink right here. I don't know. I'm just going to list them for like 25, you know, sell them how they are, but I don't know. All right, really bread and butter. These are just American Eagle. These are the newer um, logo or like they're just a newer style. These are the mom jean in a size zero short, which not a great size to sell, but... They will sell and this style always sells super well and fast for me so got those okay next this is just torrid unfortunately it's a size zero which sucks um to sell for me personally but i just thought it was cute um and i thought you know someone might still want it it does need to be washed there's a little bit of deodorant marking right there but it's nothing crazy I think I can just get that out with a simple wash washing machine okay so I just got more stuff out of my car um next are these prana shorts these are size men's large super cute um green like athletic short they're in excellent condition there are a couple like little 
snags, so I guess not excellent. They're in good condition. Um, but yeah, love to sell Piranha. Okay, this is super cute and perfect for the spring and summer coming up. This is Zara size small, and it is a black and red, like, um, maxi dress. It's super cute. It gives me like cottagecore, prairie, boho y. Those are all good keywords that I'll probably use. Um, yeah, super cute Zara piece. You'll see Ashley wandering. Here we go. <laughs> all right. Okay, here is really one of my favorite finds. Um, I found two other pieces by this brand. This is Farm Rio. This is size P, which I believe is like a small or extra small. But these are a pair of um, floral, like, <laughs> kind of like a jogger, as I was saying. They're like a jogger style pant. So cute. I just love these so much. And Farm Rio is a great brand. It is sold at Anthropology sometimes, but this label specifically is just their, um, their own brand. Or their own line. Whatever you want to whatever. <laughs> All right, this is Lululemon. It's just a classic racerback tank top in like this slate gray silvery color. Um, I had to do measurements because there's no size, but I would assume it's like a two or a four. Super cute, just basic Lululemon tank. All right, here's a pair of shoes. These are Tory Burch, which is obviously really great to find the bins. Um, I believe I had to measure for the size. I think these are like a, what did I fi figure out? What did I say these were? Like, I'm gonna try them on. They're like a nine and a half or a 10. Um, but anyways, yeah, I did measurements on these. So really cute flip-flops. Um, if you guys are interested, let me know. I will sell these to you for a really good price. Cause I am just trying to move stuff. I know I just brought this stuff home, but I'm still trying to move it out really quick. Um, okay, this is Aritzia, and this is by the brand The Group Babaton, size extra small, and it's a really beautiful um, cardigan, like, coat, hooded. It is like an alpaca blend, which is super nice. I know we're moving out of winter, but this is the type of thing I will always grab at the bins, no matter the season, because it's just such an expensive piece, um, and I think it should still, I don't know. Get yeah, like 50 maybe, 60. We'll see. That's obviously just wishful thinking, but I mean, I feel like comps are around there. All right, here's another pair of J. Jill. These are medium petite, probably all donated by the same person. They're just like a stretchy pant, straight leg. These are a nice brown color. So yeah, hopefully somebody bundles all of those together. That would be kind of Nice. Just move them all out at once. <laughs> um, this is just the brand Adeline Ray. I'm confused why the tag is upside down. I don't know if that makes... Is that how it normally looks? Size extra small. And it's just this cute floral spring dress. It gives me like Lily Pulitzer vibes. Like a lot. It's like a halter. The open back. Um, I just thought this was good for like... I don't know. Spring, summer, vacation. I don't really know. Honestly. All right, these are Torrid in a size 12. A little bit of a smaller size when it comes to Torrid, um, but I like the style. This is a high-rise street, and it's kind of a looser fit, like boyfriend style. Really cute with the raw hem. Definitely like picking up Torrid jeans in good condition, <clears throat> especially a style like that, super cute. All right, here are some shoes. These I was super excited to find. I looked through the whole row of bins to find the match, and I luckily did all across, but it was like on the opposite side of where I found the first one. So these are Corky's, and they're, they are a leather tall boot with this re really cute belt. What do you call that? Not belt. Um, yeah, I mean, kind of belt strap thing. <laughs> they're size nine. And they're in a really good condition. That was another reason why I was really, really, really eager to find the other pair. Because um, Corky's sell pretty well for me. And they are not cheap. So. Okay, next I found these Birkenstocks. So they do look a little dirty. But when I first got them um, at the bins, they had paint all over. Like it was almost covered in, paint, in white paint. So I did soak them and then I scrubbed them. And luckily I got most of it off. But I couldn't 
managed to get the rest off. So these are size 44, which I believe is men's. So really nice. They're like the Arizona rubber sandal. Okay, next are these Uggs. These are men's size 10. They're a leather, like Sherling, Sherling lined uh, slipper. So nice. I'm hoping to get 35 to 40 for these. I don't know. I have to look up comps. These aren't listed yet, but super nice. So, all right, more stuff in this bag. Okay, this brand is definitely a Bolo. Definitely keep your eye out for this. These are Blundstones. This is a weird style. I've never found this style of Blundstone. That's usually a Chelsea boot. These are a lace-up shoe. So cute. These are women's, they're Australian five, but I think that's a women's US eight, something like that. I did just polish them up a little bit and I used the um, Doc Martin Wonder Balsam oil stuff and they turned out pretty good. So yeah. Okay guys. Wow. This was, this was the first, well, this was like one of the best items um, along with those other Farm Rio pants. This is Farm Rio says P and it's a velvet blazer, which honestly I feel like might sell even better than the pants just cause this is more of like a statement. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think the blazer will do better? It's so cute with the front, like, what is that called? I don't know. Um, not lapel. I'm not really sure, but it is so cute and in excellent condition. And then the last Farm Rio piece I found was this dress. Which I was equally as, as excited about. Um, unfortunately, it's not as colorful as like other Farm Rio pieces that do really well, but it's still super cute. It's like an off shoulder. You could wear it like that. Off shoulder button front dress. So cute. I love it so much. It's just, I just love their stuff so much. Okay, I did not look this up, but I thought it was cute and the, um, European sizing just kind of felt like maybe it was something, um, Amaro? I don't know. Still haven't looked it up, but I still thought it was just a cute little, like, sleep shirt. Silky, but it could be nothing. We'll see. All right. Here is another top. This is 100% silk, and this is the brand Selected Femme collaboration with Anthropology, size 36. Super cute love it how many times have i said super cute in this video probably a lot but it is a floral blouse with like a keyhole back love it so much all right a couple more pairs of shoes in here you guys can see how everything's just mixed together these are mephisto size 41 this is a really good brand um it's kind of comparable to birkenstocks honestly sometimes it does better for me and um i just feel like the construction of them hold up better but that's just my opinion um leather straps super cute uh yeah i tried to clean them a little bit but that's the best i could really do all right next are these jeffrey campbell heels um that's the brand logo these are size eight and a half and they're a patent leather they're hard to show patent leather like heel with a peep toe so cute. They're actually surprisingly in really good condition. There's not much wear to them. So, yeah. Okay. There's so many random bags here. Um, all right. This is just a marmot hat. It's a really good um, outdoor brand. It's just a nice, like, beanie, pom-pom hat. I don't know. Pretty, it's pretty simple, but... This is a nice lace bra, pink, lacy, florally color. Um, this is Kashik or Kasik. It says 44 double D. Um, I love, I'll just grab any Kasik bra or any bra that like I feel like sh would sell good, um, including this. This is Victoria's Secret size 38D. And it's also a lace bra. This one's a push up, um, but still should do well. And then I grabbed this Victoria's Secret Sport sports bra, padded, and this one's a size 34B. I have not had enough coffee today. I can just tell. <laughs> I'm so tired. 
Okay, next are, oh, I was really happy to find these. These are really good. Um, these are Fry. And they are a like harness belt riding shoe. They're size 9B. And as you can see, these like do that. I don't know why you would move them, but they're really cute black leather booties. The bottom have some wear, but that's just, I don't know, a given, I guess. Okay. These are Joseph Seibel. So, um, as you can see, just, I like selling this brand. This is a size 41. I did have to polish these up a little bit, but there's some scuffing. I just tried my best, but I think they'll still sell. Yeah, there's a nice boot. I believe these are probably men's. So unfortunately, the construction people came right when I was recording, so um, I had to just resort to showing you guys this stuff and doing a voiceover, but that was an Obey um, hoodie, and then this is a really cute pair of American oh, yeah. Eagle shorts, perfect for the spring, summer, size of four. So yeah, these are a cutoff short. These are the style Tom Girl, Tom Girl shorty, Tom Girl. These are um, J. Crew. They look vintage. They're a wool blend city fit pant in a size six. Um, you can see there's so much lint all over these. I really need a lint roll them before I photograph them, but yeah. All right, here I am just showing you the stuff. This is a Peloton um, sports bra, but it's actually by the brand Onzi. It's a really good athletic brand. I don't know the resale value these days, but it is a size small. Um, this is a Athleta Tankini. It is padded and it's pretty cute. This is a size 38B slash C and a nice red color. I really like that one, actually. These are a pair of American Eagle. This is so weird doing a voiceover. But anyways, um, yeah, these are American Eagle size 16 regular, which is a really good size for American Eagle um, resale. And they're the curvy super high rise jigging. I find that anything that has the word like curvy in it for jeans tend to sell better. But yeah, those ones are cute. Um, okay, here are a pair, another pair of those J. Jill pants. I think this might be the last one of them. These are size medium petite. And yeah, there's a nice tan pant. Pretty nice. Pretty cute. Pretty simple. Um, these are Taos or Taos. Um, these ones are a size, I believe I show you, but I think it's like a 7 maybe. It's kind of hard to see in there. Maybe a US 7. Yeah, US 7. Nice sandals. Um, and then these are, or this is a cabby linen blend, like, sweater. I actually thought this wouldn't do as well, but it does have pretty good comps, around $35 to $40. Okay, guys, that is going to wrap up the haul for today. I know it was a little bit shorter. Um, I have uh, some stuff from this haul that's still in the washing machine. I just don't have time to film the haul because we do have friends coming um, but anyways, yeah, so that is the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please, please, please give it a like and subscribe. We're really close to, um, 1200 subscribers. And so, yeah, I really hope to get there, um, soon. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.